and I just didn't want to talk about that. So this comes up because I sent him a PM with the last video I directed towards him because he had made a video. He had made like a 40 minute video, but like the encoding fucked up. And then I responded to like his kind of a bridge, like 10 minute video, some stuff. Here's the thing you don't seem to get on C perfidy. Um, when you call people disingenuous and liars, you are owed no particular courtesies. I have been way more courteous to you than you in particular deserve based on your own behavior. Now, if you think you should be treated special, like some of the commenters have told me, it's just like, well, you're special. On Seeing Perfidy Special, you want to talk to him, you got to do the special rules and hoops. Okay, so I hope you have a lot of people that feel that way. I don't. Okay. You say to me who I should declare denunciation or fealty to, whether I'm familiar with those people and regardless of having not made any comments that I have to clarify, it's not like, ah, everything Frank says I love and so, or anything any similar to that in any way. You're being presumptuous. If you think you have some sort of right of courtesy that extends beyond the level of courtesy you show, well, you don't, all right? And I think when you give, come up with your reason as to why you don't want to talk, I don't find it credible. This is the internet. I'm here to say what I think. I don't think that's credible. I've seen you talk to all, enough people just in this conversation that it's not credible, your claim. And I don't know if it's the Philippines. And you seemed like you wanted to talk about it, but you did clarify. And, you know, it's like I told you so that you wouldn't be blindsided, you know, but also so that you know I would bring in the obvious in that case. You're not interested. I guess you're not that interested in these subjects. Maybe you just want to read AP reports or something. I don't know. I'm not that familiar with what you do to size you up that way. I can see that you're a moody little fellow, a back and forth kind of a fellow, and I'm not going to baby you in that respect, okay? I'm not going to enable you. I don't really have any reason to, okay? You call people liars and disingenuous, and Ella, how's that? You have better reason to call me that than Ella. And I'm saying that given that you don't have a good reason to call me disingenuous or a liar and outright lies, you're, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. It makes no sense, really, does it? Right? A lie means thinking that you don't know your own feelings, because I'm not even calling you a liar. I think you're scared, and you don't necessarily know why, and you feel uncomfortable trying to talk to somebody that isn't Skid Row Radio. Right? And sadly, if we did talk, maybe some of the points he's made that you have annihilated because of the weakness of his rhetorical approaches uh, would turn out to actually be valid and simply badly displayed in his approach. And uh, in the end, it could look like Skid Row is onto something. I don't know. That's another speculation. Make a video now that go, Piro thinks, but no, that was another speculation. It's something besides the fact that you think you have the right to tell me who to denounce, right? And at the moment, by the way, because I've said unkind things about Franks, and, I, and I'm talking to you, he, I know he has not made these kinds of demands, and perhaps his ethical standards are higher than you, even though he has decided to piss you off, and, and uh, uh, demean wasn't the word I was decided to debase and criticize you on a character level, which, again, I don't approve of, but I'm not him. I don't have to make a statement on that, and especially not to somebody that starts off calling me names. Those ideas, you must be drunk, and calls me a liar now, and blocks me and unblocks me, and I'm supposed to fucking listen to your demand on character? Sorry, my standards are way higher than you understand, I guess. And I'm not going to make such a statement until I really understand 
a person well enough to. And I'm also probably only going to make it if I have some reason, like I have started a nonprofit organization with them and they are on the board and I have to make a statement. Yes, I don't approve that he raped unseen perfidy. I, it's terrible. But you don't seem like the nicest guy in the world to me. Maybe I'm biased since you call me a liar, a drunkard liar. Okay, maybe it's, I'm biased. I'm sorry, I grew a bias while you were calling me names to think that you don't have such a high standard that you get to make demands on me like that. And frankly, even if you had the utmost highest standards, it's still inappropriate. Um, and I sent him a PM with a link to it, and he replied with, quote, Cool. I'll check it out. I'm going to a conference today and the next few days, so it might take me a while. Uh, open parent. Uh, I'll watch it, but usually don't find much time for videos. And parent. Ch uh, cheers. P.S. I would like to discuss the Philippines and your point that it was a, a quote-unquote successful counterinsurgency at some point. I was thinking of making a separate video asking about it. So I reply to this, and again, this is very important because this is why Piero claims I blocked him. Well, no, to be specific, it's just something I, as an example, I think you might be scared of. I don't, I don't know what you're scared of, and you're not the only one. People tell me, well, you're intimidating. What the fuck? I try as hard as possible to be sweet and nice. I'm playful. Meow. Fuck it. Jesus. I reply with, quote, cool deal. As for the Philippines, I'm saying success, in quotes, as in, quote, the counterinsurgents won. Exactly. I understand that. That's why you realize, oh, let me clarify, good doesn't mean, I mean, success doesn't mean good. Okay. And then I thought, wow, he's really brave. He is going to talk to that, and we'll just go over that. Great. And he's not going to get nailed with any supporting crazy shit because he's just talking about how it works and the point that I plan to make in that case is that a successful counterinsurgency is the same as an evil idea or something else will come out of it who knows surprises may come up and then the point can change again just as it would be different if someone was saying, well, whatever. You know, yeah, just like, uh, just like the Roosevelt administration thought. They were not ready for democracy. If somebody argued that, then it would be still different. I would not expect um, Unseen Perfidy to argue that, but he surprised me so far, so who knows? End quote. Not, quote, they were super nice people, end quote, if that makes sense. Um... Of course I understand how that makes sense, and you no doubt understand how this is good fodder for a conversation, an illuminating conversation. And uh, the thing is, it illuminates sort of some bad thinking, some bad American thinking, traditional American thinking, that isn't so hot and is easy, easy to show that it isn't so hot. Um, part of me wondered if you wouldn't say, you know, because I've been accusing you and Skip from time to time of going after low-hanging fruit, and you could accuse me of going after low-hanging fruit because arguing that the Philippines was wrong and fucked up is very low-hanging. It's also shocking because so many people know shit all about the situation that occurred. But it is low-hanging fruit. And in that case, of course, I'd be like, yeah, I agree. It is low-hanging. It's easy. It's so evil. I just want everybody to know about it. Maybe you don't want what I want. His reply, quote, yeah, I gathered that. It's an interesting case taken that way as well, because then perhaps it shows the only way to succeed at such a thing is to be horrendous. My reply, Quote, oh, totally. We should expose people to Malaya at some point and how the Brits use fucking concentration camps. Snorts. Well, here's the thing, Unseen Perfidy. My reason for wanting to talk to you at this point, the summit of that desire, uh, was specifically that, fuck yeah, let's talk about that shit. Let's bring it up. And the next thing I'm dealing with is you're telling me to denounce some totally other guy based on videos 
I have yet to watch and I'm supposed to watch to enable the denouncement. So, to me, that's 2 minus 2 equals 0 right there. You get my hopes all up like a big tease. And then you're like, oh wait, you gotta denounce somebody first. You know, you gotta violate your personal ethics and make a statement on a personality when you don't know the personality and you haven't really witnessed the crimes and the person making the demand is also insulting to people. Yeah, that's weird. It seems unrelated to me. <laughs> what can I say? It seems unrelated. It seems more likely that we ought to do that sometime is one of those I'm never gonna do that kind of things yeah we should go out and have coffee and you never see that person again that's fine I've been rejected before I can handle it but yeah take your time man I totally understand all the time issues I want to make a few vids about domestic stuff this week and the next take it easy that was the last thing I sent towards him all right everybody remember I have not seen the video before before the part that hasn't played yet of his video I haven't seen I'm gonna let you go for a while and see perfectly I'm sorry that I've been interrupting so much but you're just such a provocative personality you should take it as a compliment and uh, uh, or perhaps a mixed compliment whatever take it however you like um, but the thing is, exactly, you just read your comment and it sounded very promising, like we were going to talk about the issue. And I was in a happy state of, I thought this was the guy that was going to rage quit. I thought this was the guy that wasn't going to want to talk about anything. And you immediately went, fine, I'll talk about shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. How about that? And I'm like, I don't remember points I made that you didn't answer in some way, at least with a little passing comment. Not a final comment that couldn't be explored more, which is also great. And then you suddenly balk. Well, people talk to each other. There's all kinds of reasons that could happen. But that you have an abiding idea that you can't talk to anybody that doesn't denounce somebody that says something bad about you, whatever it was, or calls you a name like a liar. Like, I have no problem talking with you still, but granted, maybe I should demand more respect. Maybe I should make big declarations when people show me a lack of respect, call me a liar. Whatever, to be honest, I have little reason to act like it's a big deal. But okay, I'll let you talk a little longer so we can get your video done and I can watch it all. And so basically in this, he accuses me of basically blocking him because I didn't want people to be exposed to the horrors of the Philippines, even though I made a fucking video about the counterinsurgency in the Philippines and talking about what we did and how we eventually convinced Aguinaldo to come to our side. I did not know you'd made a video about that. I have not seen that video. That sounds very interesting. And I've mentioned this multiple times before, especially uh, during the ship of Thunderfoot. Um, okay, this is a part where you don't seem to understand that, one, I'm not an expert in your history of videos. I have thousands of videos myself, and I'm not expecting you to have seen them all. And two, you don't seem to realize that you may have claimed this or that, and that means nothing. I think it's great you've talked about the Philippines. That doesn't mean that you and I have had a conversation about the Philippines. I don't understand your point. I'm accusing you of trying to avoid the subject with me. And you're saying, well, I talked about the subject when I didn't have to deal with Piero. That, is, that has nothing. Oh, but what about when I'm involved? What about then? Have you done it then? And I've also mentioned um, this in comparison to the unsuccessful French counterinsurgency campaign in Algeria. Um, 
And then he accuses me. Algeria? Okay, seriously? All right, you win. You obviously know that the Philippines was a moral impulchritude. Great. Awesome. Okay. So what's the problem? Why are you bitching at me and you can't even talk to me about things like this then? Other people have no idea what happened. Let's have a conversation because we obviously disagree on enough to, like, make it a flavorful conversation. Oh. Well, the, the fact of the matter is, okay, you think those are terrible things. Well, why is it then? Is it really because you have a standard whereby you demand people to denounce other people, really? Even people that haven't done anything to you, people that have just raised issues to you that you've responded to as if they were just issues and so forth and you but the, there's a denunciation principle could you exp explain that to me at least please because I don't get it why what is the to me it seems like you're trying to escape the conversation with an excuse because I don't see how that makes any sense. I don't see how me having an opinion at all on Franks makes sense as a requirement for conversation at all. But I have encountered it before. It's just that I think little of it. I think it's questionable in its character. But, you know, no offense intended. You know, I mean, it's just the internet. And, you know, it's hard to tell what people are really 